We're going to talk about the Donald. Now, there's one thing that people always take sides on, speaking of that viewer's email. So this week, a mega poll across the US has found that Biden is edging Trump and is now just in the lead on course to win the US election. He's going to flip the state of Pennsylvania, which is the only marginal state that he would need to win. And Steve Bannon, who is the guy who's behind the MAGA movement, Make America Great Again, behind Breitbart, he's given Donald Trump some advice. He says, if you want to win America, then you need to stop talking about your hush money court cases and start talking about Joe Biden. And then today, Joe Biden said that he's ready to take on Donald Trump. So it's all getting pretty serious in the US. Now, I don't know what you guys think. I suspect you disagree with me. But I think, one, I want Joe Biden to be a two-term US president. <laughs> and two, I bet, I was going to say my house, I don't own one, I bet my rent that uh, <laughs> Joe Biden is going to be re-elected. Ben, you, you adore Donald Trump, right? Fake news. <laughs> Big news polling. <laughs> but I believe the polls. 2016, they said Hillary had a 99% chance of winning. Who won? Donald Trump. 2016, they said Remain would win the uh, referendum. Who won? Leave. 2019, they said that Boris Johnson wouldn't get a majority. They didn't say that. What happened? Yes, they did. They really didn't. Yes. Boris Johnson was expected Sorry, quite Theresa clearly May. to win that election. I beg my pardon. Theresa May. Theresa May. <laughs> the, the, the polls are fake news. They're run by fake news polling companies. They're all in bed with the left-wing media. Uh, Trump is going to walk the election, no problem. Mm. People, uh, the MAGA base, don't particularly care about Trump's court cases. They know they're frivolous. Uh, they are politically motivated by uh, corrupt Democrat DAs in New York, Alvin Bragg. Uh, so, yeah, uh, n nothing to worry about. It's fine. Trump is heading back to the White House, baby. OK, what is your evidence for that argument? Pardon? What's your evidence? What's your evidence that polling's are out? Well, polling's I, can, I can give that, but you just put your assertion. Where, said, where is I, the indication? I've, just said, I've, just, I've just given you examples of polls being wrong in the past. Polls are always wrong. Give, name me a poll that's ever been right. The vast majority of, of polls are absolutely right, OK? No, they're not. And I would just <laughs> point not. out that I think... I've just, ben... given you, I've just given you some very good examples of the biggest votes in the history of, uh, you know, recent decades, and they were wrong. You have not wrong. Because... Of course, you know, I did. Brexit, Trump, uh, the referendum... Because the fact is that that, election, that base, those Trump hardcore people, they are nowhere near enough to win the election, right? That's how it works in all elections. I mean, Chloe, obviously one of the main things that he's been criticised for is his attitude to women. So he's currently in court because Stormy Daniels, a uh, adult performer, uh, has <laughs> said that she was paid hush money to not talk about an encounter she had with Donald Trump and that that broke election rules. How do you feel as a woman on the right? Would you be happy to have Donald Trump? I would be happy to have Donald Trump. I, I think that the Me Too culture has gone too far. Now, we will see what happens with this case. Exactly. Uh, sorry, how many rapes said. can a US president commit before it's too far? Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. I don't I mean, that, that's, what's, that's what he's heavily accused we li of. We live in a world where if a man breathes on a woman, they're accused of rape. and It's just absolutely ridiculous. But you know, going back to this idea that there's just a, a small, hardcore... Trump of nutters, who, a hardcore group of nutters that would vote for Trump. I think that's really disingenuous to people to suggest that, you know, just like here we say, oh, those evil Tories, it's just a tiny number. But it, then it, 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 comes... is, it is quite tiny at well, the moment, at, at to the be moment, fair. But generally speaking, we have this, it's the silent Tory. People are so scared to say that they're Tory that then the polls suggest that the Tories will lose and they'll always, they always do better than the polls suggest, as, as Ben has pointed out, right? Mm. So I think to suggest that obviously Trump won an election in the past, that shows you that there are a significant number of people who support him. I think that right. he will do better than the polls suggest. If it's showing that Biden has a tiny majority at the moment, I would think Trump would win. If it showed that Biden was miles and miles ahead, then fine, I'll say, OK, that poll will probably be mm. true. OK, but so, let me say two the things, business, right? The One is mm. that incumbents always are in a worse position at this point. So the chances are, as is mm. illustrated more in US elections than even UK elections, the incumbent sees a much bigger gain as you get closer to election day than the opposition. That happens quite consistently. So if he's slightly ahead now, that's a better than average sign. The second thing I'd say, my, and this is my hypothesis, that you can clip this up and put it on in November when we get to the election. 
I think the opposite of 2016 is happening. People are undermarking Joe Biden's ability to win. They think it's the clever thing to say, oh, Trump's the underdog, but he's going to win, to make up for the mistakes that mainstream media definitely made in 2016. Because Biden beat Trump by 8 million votes Mm -hmm. just four years ago. How many million? Three and a half years ago. And there is no evidence that there's been a big shift of being among undecideds. Mm -hmm. But look, Charlie, you've worked in a government that actually had to liaise with Donald Trump. What did you make of him having seen a bit of it on the inside? Well, I had no liaison at all with Donald Trump. I Not like Stormy know. Daniels. Thank you very much. But, you know, um, I, I do agree with Ben, ben Leo. You look, the polls are always going to be uh, difficult. They're always going to narrow, as you were saying, Benjamin. I mean, uh, I still can't get over the poll uh, that took place in the, I think it was the early 90s, late 2000s, uh, where Gareth Gates didn't win Pop Idol. I mean, that's still a scandal burned. <laughs> well, Will, William Young my... is an absolute bad... William Young, Gareth Will Gates should have won that, hands down. But to take it back to, to your serious point, Please is do. that uh, you, you need to um, uh, work with whoever is the President of the United States. They're our biggest ally, they're our biggest partner. And, you know, the Donald is a a particular character that did have uh, many achievements on the international stage. He got other people within the NATO to commit uh, more defence spending. Uh, He was very, very tough on uh, uh, Russia, uh, very, very tough on Syria, very, very tough in North Korea. Um, uh, So, you know, you can't write him off in totality. And I think, as uh, Chloe was saying, there is a silent majority. And I think there are a lot of silent Conservatives out there that will come out and vote Conservatives. I think there are a lot of silent Trump supporters that will go and vote for Donald Trump because they're too polite to say that Joe Biden's beyond to sell by day. Yeah, okay, that's the thing. Darren, that's what's really changed. It's because people like you years. howl them down and say that they're racists or fascists or they're supporting this big evil tyrant uh, and they feel too scared to tell a pollster that actually, oh yeah, I'm going to vote for the big nasty. So why did he lose by eight million votes three and a half years ago? He also ago. got the highest that a president has ever received. He also lost by the biggest margin in history. But why did he beat Hillary Clinton? Well, I mean, she got three million more was, votes than him. She was the but best think, thing since sliced bread. You were really obsessed with her. What's really changed over the past that... four years is Joe Biden's age has really shown. My biggest qualm with Joe Biden is the fact that he clearly is an elderly man with memory issues. He's three years older and than Donald clearly Trump. clearly he's not the one running the country. I don't think that's democratic if we don't actually know who's running the show because he's just stood there with some notes which tell you, sit down, take a seat, say thank you. You saw him reading off a teleprompter the other day. He said pause at the bottom of the teleprompter prompter he read that part out loud because his I mean Donald Trump last week referred to Barack him. Obama as the incumbent president I think frankly both of them are over the hill and showing serious signs of mental decline you've seen so Donald many Trump examples Donald Trump fell asleep on. twice during his court hearings as was reported right. so I think that's a pretty bad sign well they are quite boring here okay I mean uh, Benjamin I think to suggest that you'll be clipped up and shown in November it's a very optimistic way of assuming <laughs> that this show will of course still be on the airwaves <laughs>